WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 246, NASDAQ up 288, S&P's up 64. That's a gain inside the Dow of six-tenths of 1%, 1.2% in the S&P, and 1.8% in the NASDAQ. Gold. Gold contract uh, trading down $16.40 at 2054 an ounce. We have silver down 43 cents, $22.80. Light sweet crude down a buck 75, $72, seven pennies a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down a full point plus seven ticks at 111.21. The 30 year down two points plus three ticks at 121.30. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up 869 ticks trading out at 103.916. Euro 107, yen 148, British pound 127 to 1 US dollar. We're going to go over to the 10 year note first, folks, okay? Here's the bottom line. You had that big jobs number come out today. Huge jobs number. Bottom line brought the yields right back down, right back up, rather. But that being said, guess what? You're pulling back with 2.5 million contracts. Well, guess what? You're going into 2. I mean, 3.5 million contracts. So the bottom line, that still wants higher price, which is phenomenal. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We're going to take a look at the um, S&P intraday. And what you're going to see here, this market just wants higher price. You talk about shaking off that jobs number. It was pretty amazing. OK, so what you had out here is that you had the S&Ps were trading at uh, the 49.62. Uh, bottom line, what ends up happening? Runs down to 49.25 when the jobs number come out. And guess where we are, folks? 49.92 up 63. That is one monster move. And we take a look at the dollar index, and that's what the dollar index up. Now, the dollar index, if you're into candlestick charting, this is a, a last engulfing. So we'll see how this shakes out. A last engulfing means after an uptrend, you start at the bottom, you go to the top, and it's a, it's a two-day signal, meaning that it would have to be lower on Monday in order to be basically a confirmed last engulfing. It looks bullish, but that's something that's bearish. But guess what? The bottom line is that the market's not scared of it out here today. Uh, gold, gold, gold pulled back, but not as dramatically as it could. And, you know, it hasn't broken any swings or anything. You had the gold pull back $16. You know, you got to the low of yesterday and rejected it. Pretty wild. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.